Hello everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. I'm super excited about today's video because I am doing another doll makeover giveaway. You all seem to love my last one that I did in celebration of 10,000 subscribers and today I'm doing this in celebration of 50,000. And yes, I know we are far past 50,000 now, which is crazy, but I still really wanted to do this video for all of you guys. So make sure to watch until the very end to figure out how you can potentially win this doll. I did purchase a brand new made to move Barbie body and yes, the box did come pretty damaged. I'm not sure why, but the doll seems to be fine inside. Let's get her out of the packaging. Here she is out of the packaging. And you guys will probably notice that this is a different kind of doll than what I usually would use for makeovers. I'd usually want a doll with blonde hair that I could color with Sharpies. But today I'm going to be trying something completely different. I'm going to be trying to reroute the doll's hair. So I'm honestly terrified and I hope this turns out. Otherwise, I won't want to give a doll that looks horrible to all you guys. She also has a different skin color than the ones I usually do, which is super awesome. And just an overall different look. So I am super excited. I hope all of you are as well. So I'm going to start by rerouting the doll. And I've never done this before. I kind of just searched up a couple videos to help me out. Um, one and probably the main one I'm using is by everything dolls So basically the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut off all of her hair Which she actually doesn't have too much of because it is kind of like a fake bun Which is part of the reason why I also bought this doll so we wouldn't be wasting a whole bunch of perfect hair So I'm basically just going to cut off as much hair as I can Well, that seemed to work, and now I'm just going to trim down all these pieces as short as I can. So, I cut off all of the hair that I could, and now everything is just really short. And I believe the next step is we just have to remove her head, and I'm going to do this off camera, but basically I just dip her head in some boiling hot water and just pull it off. It's pretty simple. Just always be careful to not break the net peg inside. Now I'm pretty sure what we have to do is take some needle nose pliers and kind of just pull out the little hairs that are left. So let's see if we can do that. And I want to try to do this part carefully because I do hear that it is easy to get scalp splits if you're too rough this. So let's see if we can do this. <laughs> there is one. <laughs> We got a whole bunch more to go. And now each and every single one of the hair plugs is out from the doll's head. And this is what she looks like. Here are all the little pieces and I don't know why, but for me, they're so satisfying. Like, I don't know why they are so satisfying. Like, just listen to that. No, no one else, just me. So now what I'm gonna do is because I'm actually gonna be giving this doll purple hair, we do have to paint her scalp a matching purple color. So I just have this purple acrylic paint that I'm going to use. And I'm basically just gonna paint a thin coat on her scalp. Now I'm just gonna let this dry. So the acrylic paint has dried and it didn't take that long at all. Now, like I mentioned, this is my first time trying to reroute. I did order from a shop on Wetsy called Retro Dolls UK. And I'm gonna be trying out the hair they had on their website along with their rerouting tool as well. So in here we have the rerouting tool and they also included extra needles, which is very nice. And this is the hair I'm using. It's called Black Grape and it is nylon. And I hope that it'll look good on this doll. And I think it will. This doll hair is super duper long. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in half so that it'll be a little shorter. That is a horrible job. And even with the piece cut in half, it is still extremely long. So I actually think I'm gonna cut this and half again. Yeah. 
So now I think all the hair is the proper length, or at least for the doll that I'm rooting today. And now I believe what we do next is take a small portion of hair. I don't know if that's too much. That might be too much. Then split that in half and then put that onto the rerouting tool like that, I think. And then just push it into one of the hair holes here. That kind of worked, I think. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue doing this um, all the way around the edge of the head to start. Here is a quick update on how the reroute is going. I have finally finished going all the way around the edge. I will admit it does take some time, but it's actually kind of fun and satisfying, but I'm pretty happy with how I've done so far. Something I have noticed though is that most dolls actually have a hairline, and because this doll had her hair up in a bun, she does not. Then again, I have looked at lots of the dolls I have, like Emily and Nicole, lots of those dolls that you guys will probably recognize, don't actually have hairlines themselves either. So I don't think it'll be a big problem. So basically, I'm just going to now continue rerouting the rest of the head. So I have finally finished rerouting her whole head and I think it looks super duper good. I was definitely getting more of the hang of it by the end and I'm super proud of how it looked. I also do want to mention that I did only actually end up using one pack of hair and I do have two more of these so I guess I only really need to buy one. And I even did have some leftover from that pack so if you guys happen to buy from this shop just know that one pack of hair cut at this length will be good enough for one doll head. Now what we have to do is use some fabric tack glue. This is the glue that everyone seems to use. So it's the one I'm gonna be using as well. And I'm basically just gonna squeeze it into her head trying to glue all of the hair plugs in place. And then it says to let that dry for a couple hours. So I'm just gonna let it dry overnight. Here is her head after drying overnight, and I actually do think the hair is very well in place, so I'm very happy about that. And now I'm basically just gonna put her head back on her body. So I just laid down a towel and grabbed some boiling hot water that I just placed in a glass here. And I'm basically just going to dip the doll's head into the water. I'm basically just going to brush through it so it's all laying down. Like I mentioned earlier, she doesn't actually have a part in her hair, so I'm kind of just brushing it backwards and um, not really separating her hair in a specific spot. While it's damp, I'm actually going to go and section the hair off into three parts. And now I'm just going to cut below the elastics and hopefully this goes well. There we go. Now I'm just gonna take these out. I'm gonna brush out her hair. Now because her hair is still kind of wet, I'm just gonna let it dry for a little bit. Her hair is fairly dry now and I wanna start working on the face. If you guys don't already know what I usually do is I usually just mix acrylic paint with some matte Mod Podge because I don't really have the skills oops because I don't really have the skills to try to redraw the whole face and this method just works best for me so that's just what I do. Last time I did a doll makeover you guys helped me pick all of the decisions for how the doll would look. This time around I'm kind of making all those decisions on my own which I hope you guys don't mind but I just thought this time around I have this kind of envisionment in my mind of how I want the doll to look so that's just what I'm gonna do and hopefully you like how she turns out. For the eyes I want to give her kind of a brown color so I'm just going to mix up a color that I want. And then I just mix that with a little bit of Mod Podge. And I'm going to put that color in her iris. 
Then I'm gonna make a bit of a darker brown color and put that around the edges. And now I'm just going to make a black mixture for her pupils. While her eyes are drying, I'm going to add some hairs to her eyebrows. If you guys have been watching my doll makeovers for a while, you know I usually do this just to make them look a little bit more realistic. I also think I want to give her a beauty mark, maybe by her eye. That's usually where I do them. I think it looks kind of cute there. I'm also just going to add a little shine in her eyes. I'm also going to put a little bit of paint up her nostrils just to darken them a little bit. That's what I usually do. Now for her lips, I'm just going to be using 100% acetone and a Q-tip to remove the lipstick on her face. Then I'm going to mix up a kind of natural lip color. I also did paint her teeth back on off camera just because it's easier for me to focus off camera. For her nails, I'm using the same method as I did with her face, but this time I actually used Glossy Mod Podge instead to give it a bit of a shine. And I'm just using this purple color for her nail polish to kind of go with her hair, I guess. For her earrings, I want them to be pretty basic, so I'm literally just using this tiny pin and cutting it down. Then to actually pierce your ears, I just take a thumbtack and push it in where I want her earring to go. Wiggle it around a little bit, then quickly remove it and place in the earring like that. So now she just has a really basic stud earring. And you know what? I think I might actually give her a double piercing in her ear, which I think would look really good. I may have spaced them a little too far apart, but either way, I still think they look pretty cute. And I repeated that on the other ear as well. I am personally super happy with how she's looking so far. I don't think I'm going to give her any hairstyle just because I really like her hair nice and straight like this. But now I think that we should give her a new outfit. So this is the outfit I chose to give her. I think it's super cute personally. She has this nice cropped sweater and some nice ripped jeans. I also want to let you guys know that the clothes you're wearing right now, I'm actually going to be recreating the almost exact same ones for the winter um, in kind of like a better quality version, if that makes sense. I didn't really have the time to remake these before filming this video, but basically whoever wins will get doll clothes exactly like these, but probably better quality because these ones are my first attempts. The pockets on the jeans do really work, which I think is super awesome. And overall, I just think this is a super cute outfit, especially for fall. Also guys, part of the reason why I wanted to keep her hair down is because I think it'd be super cute if I gave her a little toque. Again, because it is getting cold outside, at least where I live, and I think that it would just be super cute. Yeah, that is so cute. As for her shoes, I'm gonna be giving her these really cute Uggs that I quickly made. They're really hard to see with this lighting on camera, but they are really cute in person. But um, I did watch a My Froggy sub tutorial on how to make these and I just think they're super cute. And here they are on the doll. They're pretty loose, but they fit good over the jeans. So I just think those are pretty cute. Now, for those of you who watched my last doll makeover giveaway video, you'll know I made a little choker like this one and I love this so much. I think I'm also gonna put it on her. Um, because I think it would kind of go with her look in a way. So I'm going to put this choker on her. It's basically just a little jump ring and two ribbons wrapped around it. And basically, I'm just going to glue the two pieces together behind her neck. Now, because I did give her studs, I think it'd be super cute if I gave her these really tiny little AirPods as well. I did have a tutorial for these on my channel. And with the help of some sticky tack, I just stick it right into her ear. And now that she has some AirPods, of course she also needs a phone so she can listen to some music and connect her AirPods. So I'm just going to give her this phone. And all these little things I'm adding are included with the doll. 
for the winner. Lastly, I think it would look really cute if I gave her these two little notebooks that I tried to make look kind of like fall themed, I guess. And they do have real pages inside. And I think it'd look really cute if she held them. So here is the full doll all completed. And I'm super happy with how she turned out. I really hope you guys like her too. I'm definitely going to do more reroutes in the future. This is definitely a lot better in my opinion than using sharpies there's no risk of staining the color just looks much more vibrant and overall i just like this process like a million times better so yeah comment below what you think of this doll i really hope you guys like her because one of you will be winning her speaking of winning this doll i think now is a good time to tell you all how to actually enter the giveaway first things first make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and click the notification bell like this video and you must be 18 years or older or have parent permission to enter. This is a worldwide international giveaway so anybody can win from anywhere in the world. Also, I just wanna mention I am paying for all shipping costs just to let you guys know. Also make sure you guys have a way for me to contact you, whether that's an email or Instagram. You don't have to comment that below, but just make sure you do have something ready in case you do happen to be the winner. Once you've completed all of those steps, all that's left is to comment down below hashtag DD giveaway, which stands for Delightful Dolls Giveaway, and then you'll be entered. I do want to mention that any duplicate comments won't be counted, so don't try to comment hashtag DD giveaway over and over again because those duplicate comments will not count, just to let you guys know. And the winner will be picked in next week's video at complete random. So again, guys, don't try to beg me. I'm sorry, I can't choose who wins. It is completely random because I want this to be 100% fair. And lastly, I just wanna give everyone the best of luck for this giveaway. And hopefully someone who really likes this doll and likes my channel wins. So good luck, everybody. Quickly before we end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to Linda Shaw, Mia Verano, and Bernice Bravo. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck to everyone who enters. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!